All right, what's going on, everybody? It's the Man of Mythic Legend Beast of Star Brawl 16 here, and today I'm about to show you guys how to build the ultimate card in Madden, the Black Eyes Blue Dragon Knight Train Lane himself, and or Michael Irving, if you so choose, for God knows what reason. But today, I'm about to give you guys the tips to break down just the most straightforward path possible. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to get this mutt tip. You get it by basically just logging in. And then you want to go ahead and add it to this set. What it's going to do is going to give you the turkey stuffers. Now, the turkey stuffers are just eight different players that you're going to need depending on which master that you want to build. So as you see here, they are Joey Bosa, Tom Brady, Kerrigan, Bouye, Nelson, Ertz, Odell, and Amos. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now, to keep a long video short, if you guys just want to know how to build these straight away, you like you're kind of a mutt veteran. All you need is 9,860 training, right? That's that's all you need to build one of these. So you can multiply that by four. You need about 38,000 training per master, right? Because as you guys see for the requirements here to build Michael Irving, you need all of the offensive players, so Brady, Beckham, Ertz, and uh, Nelson. And the thing is, these aren't optionable. At least the 92 versions aren't. So you have to build them which means they have to cost train they like they cost train there's no way to get these other than uh training as of now i don't know if that was intended or not but you know i work with what i have so maybe by the time i upload this video they fix it or something changes but for defense you need bosa kerrigan bouye and amos and again for those of you who already kind of know what to do you only need thirty-eight thousand training per so about seventy thousand or seventy or so thousand training for uh both masters or just 38k for one i think my math is off but someone else can check me but for those of you who are new and who want a step by step broken down tutorial about the most straightforward way to get it i got you so the first thing we need to know is how to upgrade these things because you don't upgrade them directly via train because obviously that would just be too easy right so in order to make things as complicated and confusing as possible, Madden makes us collect food items every single year to upgrade these players. I have no idea why they do it, but that's just something they like to do. So as we take a look at, you know, Mr. Bosa here, you will see that he needs various food items like rolls and just a whole bunch of other Thanksgiving related foods, I guess, you know, if you're white but no nah, i'm playing i'm playing but um as you see here in the store you have main course fantasy packs and you have side dish fantasy packs now you need four of each right you're gonna need every single food item for each player so you can kind of see where this is going now okay um you don't need to you know buy harvest players you don't need to buy any of those players you only need the collectibles and you need one of each for each player so if you guys do the math 2200 times 4 and then 220 times 4 that comes out to 9860 per player you multiply that times 4 and then you got your math system. as a matter of fact where's my ti 84 we gonna do this math right here live okay just to make sure i don't sound stupid um let's see 2200 times 4 yep and then plus you know 220 times four yeah 9680 times four so yeah 38720 train that's exactly what you need to build night train lane or michael irvin now there are a little bit of cheaper ways you can do you can try to go for a re-roll by you know rolling the players pulling the 79 quick selling the 79 player and then you know going to complete the sets and then i mean that's just time consuming it's not even worth the discount that you're getting it's, it's really not trust me so obviously the next step is you need training now training you know depends on the value you know i was able to get most of my 92s under like you know 200,000 or so before they rose so if you want to hold off on building this night train you don't have to build them immediately because there's still blitz coming there's still a whole bunch of other things coming so be on the lookout for that but for the most part you know just try to find whatever is best for you you know there's other sets over here but again they're not really worth doing at all i mean if you happen to pull some of these then i mean go ahead but you know 
none of these are really worth it or really profitable or really that much cheaper to the point where it's worth all the time that it's going to take to complete these not to mention there are solos you can do for free 92 so you can skip an entire player just by doing solos which i think is absolutely amazing so that being said you know you come over here you buy your collectibles and you have to buy so many collectibles dog it's absolutely insane so just to show you guys what it looks like you buy it for 2200 training and now you go in here and then they're going to give you you know your fantasy pack of choice you know make sure you keep track of what you're pulling you know i find it easier if you buy all the packs at once and then you know you you open them one at a time because you do have to have one of each and i guess you know it can get confusing at times i mean i'm not sure I almost messed up because like right here I was like wait which one did I pick and then I, I I forgot I didn't know if they switched the order or anything it was also confusing luckily they keep them in the same place so once you buy you know whatever you need for your players I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade them now you come over here click on a player and you just upgrade them by selecting the item from your binder it's actually pretty you know simple you can just mash X or mash a and then um, you know you can just add them all up and then this is how you get your 92 for just pure training and I think that was the whole point right they they knew everybody was stocking up on coins so they made training worth something so essentially it costs a little bit more coins for these players than a normal 92 would because a 92 quick sells for 9470 I believe and these cost 9680 so it's a sneaky way to drain coins so I have to commend EA for thinking of a way to kind of like balance the market like that but it it kind of sucks but at the same time it's not that big of a deal you know prices rise and fall all the time so you know do with that as you will because these will be super cheap going forward especially from here on out but basically that's how you build your 92 overall so the best thing to do is just to get you know all your fantasy packs in one place that's just a little tip that i recommend it takes absolutely forever to do dog like most of my time spent this morning was literally just going through the fantasy packs and it, it took at least like 10 minutes i mean i know that probably doesn't sound like a lot but dog it is so boring it is monotonous i just really wanted to get this video out get night train you know but um again this is what it looks like when you're upgrading them you know the stats actually aren't really bad like you know 96 finesse move he is an absolute like third fourth down rusher so he will definitely be on the team i might you know try him out with abilities i don't know i love reggie white love his block shed i hope he gets a new car really really soon aj Bouye is probably the one who surprises me the most the fact like he looks honestly kind of like a better ramsey and that is absolutely ridiculous to say but you know stats they kind of don't lie well some of them do but you know once you upgrade you get his plus one for everything i it becomes a little bit ambiguous you know i i don't know i was gonna like quick sell him or just wait to sell him off for a set but i might actually give him a go i might actually you know see how he shakes and then uh kerrigan i really don't have a interest in kerrigan i probably should have looked at his stats but i mean i <laughs> I don't think anybody wants Ryan Kerrigan unless he's better than Vaughn Miller. If, I mean, if he's better than Vaughn Miller, then you know he can he can float on the team, which he probably is. But I care more about finesse move than I do anything. And it looks like he has 84 finesse move, so I don't know if he'll be on the team or not. But um, yeah, you can't sell them. So again, that confirms it. So once you do all of that, finally, finally, you can go and add them one at a time because apparently it would be too hard to add all of them at the same time but you add them one at a time and then only then may you summon the almighty black eyed blue dragon and it is absolutely crazy you guys saw how great his stats were in the beginning you open up the fantasy pack and now you are in the promised neverland it is absolutely amazing i love these sets i love when you get all the cards back even if they're net it doesn't bother me you know i think it's actually pretty cool this is how every promo should be you know and i'm glad they're sticking with this method as you can see here his natural stats absolutely amazing 91 hit power because I, I don't think i showed his hit power he cannot get enforcer yet but his end game card will be able to get enforcer you see 94 is quick sell 
for uh, 18,200 training. And then these are gnats, so they do quick sell for half. But thank you guys for watching this video. Like, and subscribe if you liked this video. If you found it helpful, dislike if you did not. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.